All right, Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Harakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to your brothers through the four corners of the earth, preaching this word, and also laboring in this word in truth, love, and sincerity, and may blessings fall upon the houses of the one third. And I want to do this quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai on dealing with you social media Israelites and you comic board Israelites. Okay? Here it is, and I'm seeing more and more of you Israelites that, that proclaim you have the truth, you have the knowledge, yet y'all are all over our uh, our YouTube pages, you know, speaking, you know, for the brothers of Great Millstone, okay? You got all you different Israelite groups or, or, or people that say you have woke up into the knowledge of yourself being Israelites and you and you know the truth. We have all you on our comma boards where you proclaim that you have this truth or you proclaim that you have the truth. Yet, when we click on you guys pages, it says you guys have no content. No content, but yet you're always on our videos having th something to say or saying that we broke something down right. But you have no videos of edification of breaking down the scriptures whatsoever. You have no uh you have no videos on there, right? Of showing you on the highways and byways as you're commanded to be, teaching, prophesying, and warning the people. But yet you're on our videos with something to say. Also you got a bunch of you Israelites that's always on social media, right? You, you call yourself rebuking people, correcting people. Like I said, coming on brothers' uh, different social media pages when they post something saying, this is wrong, this is false teachings. Yet when we ask you, where's your works or what are you doing to b help benefit the ministry or help feed the sheep, you have nothing to say. And then you make up all these different excuses why you don't go out to the highways and byways, man. You see, the Lord is not dealing with people like that, man. Okay? This is the book of Matthew 5, verse 14. It says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men put, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And give light unto all that are in the house. Let your light, let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Okay. So if you say you have the truth, you say you have the light. You got to go out there and show it. Okay. You got to let your light shine. All right. You don't. You don't like it says. Uh, either do men light a candle and put it on, put it under a bushel. That doesn't help. That's useless. You see, but on a candlestick and give it light unto all that are in the house. So you're supposed to let your light shine abroad, or let your light shine abroad. You see, and like I said, you you people proclaim that you have the truth, but yet you are not out there. Edifying the people, yet you are not out there uh, feeding the sheep. Okay. Hey, what does the Lord say this? Right? The Lord says, as much is given, much is required. Right? It's the book of, um, let's see where it is. Yep. It's the book of Luke. 12 verse 48 it says I'll start at I'll start at verse 45 it says uh, but and if that servant say in his heart I'll start at 43 blessed is that servant whom his lord when he cometh shall find so doing of a truth, I say unto you that he will that he will make him ruler over all that he had. But but and if that servant say 
in his heart, my Lord, the laugh is coming and shall begin to beat the men, servants and maidens and to be and to eat and drink and be drunken. The Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him and at an hour when he is not aware and will cut him asunder and will point his and will point him his portion with the unbelievers and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself. Neither, neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. You see? And you claim yourselves to be servants of Yah Bashmel Shah. You, you proclaim that the Lord has bestowed upon you the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Well, what are you supposed to be doing? You're supposed to be doing a service of the Lord. You're supposed to be doing a ministry. You're supposed to be out on the highways and byways teaching, warning, and prophesying to people. Okay? That's what you're supposed to be doing. Okay? Helping further the ministry. Not always on someone's karma board. Right? Opening your mouth. Y'all have no works to show for it. For, for, it, for nothing. You see, but yet, y'all always the first ones to open your mouth and type your madness on brothers' karma boards. Or like to go back and forth for brothers. But you brothers, but you, but you people are not doing anything to help further the ministry, man. And I'm just, and I just, I have been, um, I'm convinced that Jake just want to have something to say. Jake just want to seem like they got it all figured out. You know, verse 48 says, but he that know not, but he that know not, knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whosoever much is given, of him shall much be required. And to whom men have committed much of him, they will ask more. Right. So it says, whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. And a lot, and there's a lot of you guys out there that, you know, you do know a lot, but you sit on it. You sit on it. You don't go out to the highways and byways. You don't make videos. You just keep the truth for yourself. Nah, man. You see, when when you knew, know this truth, uh, uh, hey, dealing like uh, the parable with the talents, man, right? When the Lord gives you a talent, you're supposed to double that talent. You're supposed to go out and gain more, not sit on it, okay? Not hide it under a napkin. And that's what a lot of you guys be doing out here, man. And then there's a lot of you older guys, right? That's now popping out under the popping out out of the woodworks, right? You've been missing for five, seven, ten years. Then you just hop out here back on the streets like you never left. And then y'all be proud talking shit. Like you haven't just left. Uh, 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 like you wasn't just that shepherd that left the sheep to starve for that amount of time you was gone. Which whoever the case may be. You see? So, man, a lot of you guys, man, a lot of you guys, y'all got a lot to answer for, man. You know? And the Lord is revealing you phonies, man. You know? Let's go, let's go to the book of uh, uh, Matthew 22. Matthew 22, verse 9. Listen to this. It reads, it says, Go ye therefore into the highways... And as many as you shall find, bed to the marriage. So you're supposed to be going to the highways. You're supposed to be going to the hedges. As Luke 4, the 14th chapter, the 23rd verse say as well. Go to the uh, um, highways and hedges. You know, and what compel, compel them to come in. So you suppose you commanded to go to the highways and byways, man. The chief place of concourse. Because that's where mainly uh, all the people are to reside at, man. You know. So this, so everyone can hear this word. But you guys don't want to go to the highways and byways, you know. You like to sit behind your computers and talk your shit, you know. Meanwhile, we're out there presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice, you know. We're putting our lives on the line, you know, doing the work and the will of y'all by Shemel Shah. We are feeding the sheep, as the scriptures say. What did the Lord tell Peter? Right, John, uh, is it tw it's twenty one? John twenty one, verse 
15, it says, So when they had denied, Yahweh Shah said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I had loved thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said unto him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved, because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said, and he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh shall say unto him, Feed my sheep. Okay? So if you proclaim that you have this truth, you proclaim that, you know, uh, the Lord is dealing with you, that you're a man of the Lord, take your ass out on the highways and byways and teach the people that, man. Quit hiding behind all these different social media accounts, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and go to the highways and byways as you're commanded to do, man. Okay? Now, I know certain brothers do uh, go on different social media accounts to fellowship with brothers, but I'm talking about you guys that be on social media, y'all be on Instagram, right? Posting scriptures day and night, right? You call yourself rebuking people all day, commenting, commenting on people's pages, right? Wanting to debate, but you don't go to the highways and byways. I had this guy last week uh, come on his other younger brothers come aboard, and I said, uh, I, I told him, I said, look, man, we not don't we not here to do no debating, man. Okay, if you want to keep, you want to do all that, man, go to the highways and byways and teach the people. Do you know this Joker told me? I've been there and done that. Are you serious? What do you mean you've been there and done that? No, you're supposed to be occupying until the Lord come, man. Okay? And that's in many different ways. Okay? That's continuing to read. Continuing, continuing to stay faithful. Okay? Doing the work, which consists of going into the highways and byways. You know? Continuing to uh, uh, build yourself up in the spirit. Right, etc. But this is how these guys think. Oh, I went into the I went on went in the highways and byways for a few months or a few years. That's enough. Nah. Okay. Nah. You are supposed to continue to be on them highways and byways and, and to, until the Lord see fit. You know, when it's that time, the Lord is going to remove His men off the streets during the times of the famine of the word. But you guys are doing it at your own cause because you feel that I have done enough. Man, you ain't do enough. You see? Even we feel, and our apostles say it all the time, we feel as if we're not doing enough. Even though brothers may put up five, ten videos a week, go on to the highways and byways uh, twice a week. There's always room for you to do more. Okay? Always room for you to do more. So you guys just make these excuses because what? You don't want to be on the highways and byways. You don't want to deal with the people. You want to just be rebellious and do what you want to do. And that's heavy in Israel right now. Israel is doing whatever they want to do. You know? And what does the scripture say, right? Um, and I'm not going to make this long. I'm about to close out. This is the book of Proverbs 1 verse 20. Um, it reads, it says, wisdom crieth out, she uttereth her voice in the streets, she crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the city, she uttereth her words, saying, you see, so where is this wisdom, this truth, this knowledge and understanding is going to be uh, 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 pushed out, right, in the streets, in the chief place of concourse. Right? In the openings of the gates. In the city. In the midst of the people. Right? In the city she uttered her words saying, How long, ye civil ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. So that's what, you know, a few things you're going to be saying to the people. You know? How long you people going to love simplicity, man? Or how long you civil ones going to love simplicity? How long are you scorners and mockers is going to delight in your, in your scorning, man? You see? 
and fools hate knowledge. Uh, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make my note. Uh, I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. And the Lord is stretching out his man, is stretching out his hand, slack, yo, right? Like uh, all day long, man. To a what? To a, a, a rebellious and a gang same people. You know? Uh, what does it say? Uh, um, let's get this so we can close out. Sin. Man. This is the book of Jeremiah 44 verse 4 It says How be it I sent unto you all my servants The prophets rising early Sending them saying Oh do not this abominable thing That I hate But they hearken not nor incline their ear To turn from their wickedness To burn incense unto other gods Wherefore my fury and my anger and poured for, was poured forth, or poured forth, and was kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, and they, and they are wasted and desolate, as it, as it this day, you know. But the point was in verse four. It says, "What? Howbeit I send unto you my servants, the prophets, rising early, and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing." I hate so the per the prophets went out there and they went and rebuked the people and was telling them, look, man, hey, y'all can continue in y'all wickedness, right? Y'all want to continue to be disobedient. The Lord's going to jack y'all up, man. You know, and that's the same thing we do. You see, but it was a continuous thing. It wasn't no thing where, okay, they might have went, they went out there for an hour and it was done. Nah, man. You see, they continue to do the work until... You know, uh, the Lord had come forth when he needed to come forth. They had a, 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 they was on a mission. They had a job. Okay. And that's how you have to be as a servant of Yahweh. Watch me out shy, man. Okay. You just can't. Hey, man. I said, man, if you're, if you're a man of the Lord, bro, and uh, uh, you, you're making all these different excuses to go out. No, if I'll say this. So like, yeah, let me, let me retract that. If you saying you're a man of the Lord. And you making excuses to go and do the Lord's work. I don't believe you to be a man of the Lord, man. You see? So if you're in that spirit, you better check yourself, man. You see? You better check yourself. Okay? And you guys out there keep making excuses because y'all don't want to go, go out there and teach, man. Nah, man. Okay? Hey, because even when Jeremiah, when Jeremiah was like, uh, you know what, I, I'm, I'm going to fall back. Hey, he said, "What the? Uh, 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 uh. Basically, it was it was in his spirit. His spirit was burning to go out there to to go do the work, to teach. He couldn't even hold it in, you know. So, hey, that that's it, man. I ain't gonna continue to ramble on, man. But hey, you social media Israelites and you common board Israelites, man. Hey, if you got so much uh, knowledge and understanding as you proclaim and you say the apostles and elders are great millstone, or you say." The, the, the body of Great Millstone is wrong. Then, nigga, you show us what's right. Since y'all got it figured out, you go show us what's right. Okay? And feed the sheep. And quit running your mouth. And do the work. So, hey, that's that's it, man. Until next time, uh, Lord will. Hope this lesson was out of fine. Shalom.